How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. For this week's Samsung Galaxy Smartphone Tip of the Week, I want to show you a great app to use for keeping notes or taking notes. Uh, this is an app that's called Google Keep. Now, it should come on your phone, but in the event that it doesn't, uh, and this is, sorry, this is what it looks like, Keep, right here. If it doesn't come on your phone, go to your uh, app store. So, uh, go to your apps, and we're going to find the Play Store which looks like this. Tap on the Play Store. And then we're going to go to search and we're going to type in just keep. K-E-E-P and we'll do a search. First one that comes up is Google Keep Notes and List. You'll tap there and you will install it. Mine's already installed so I don't have an option to install. So now let's go ahead and go to Google Keep. So we're going to go here and look for Google Keep. It's a yellow notepad. Tap on there. It just says Keep. And here it is. So this is a really awesome app because um, it's just very simple. Um, you just tap where it says Add Quick Note and you can start typing. Um, make sure to vote. So you can make a note. This is a quick note and then you can tap on the, the uh, little color icon right here and you could say hey, I want this to be red or like this orange and then we're going to hit enter and now that's a note and that note will show up right at the bottom here give it a second there it is now you can also make a to-do list so we can tap on this option right here and it will uh, create a list for you so at the top you can title it groceries and then we can go uh, milk milk, eggs, butter. Let's spell butter right, how about that? All right, so there's that, and then we can tap our color right here, and we're done. And in the corner, upper left corner, there's an arrow that points to the left, we'll just tap right there. And now there's our new list right there. And let's say you made sure to vote and you're done and you wanna get rid of this now, go ahead and just swipe it off and it's gone. Real simple. And if you didn't mean to swipe it off and you want to get it back, you can tap. Um, there's these three little bars in the corner. If you tap right there, we can go to trash and we can look at all the things that we have. Um, actually, I'm sorry, not trash. You would actually go to archive and then it should be in our archive and you can bring it back. Um, you can do a couple of other fun things. You can also uh, do a voice note and it will actually record your voice as well as uh, it'll try to dictate as best it can. It's important to treat others how you want to be treated. So there it is. And it got it just exactly the way I said it and it has the voice transcript too. It's important to treat others how you want to be treated. There it is, real simple. And we can save that. You can go back later and listen to it whenever you need to. Uh, and finally, one of the, the awesome features too is you can take a picture. You can just tap the picture button, take a picture, and I'm just going to do it on my hand here. Snap it, and then it'll ask you, it'll show it to you and ask you if you like it. We'll hit save, and it'll add that picture right into your note, and then you could add a caption. So. Um, you get four ways to, to take notes, but it's the simplicity is the best part about it because it's not a ton of buttons. It's just very simple. And again, we can um, you know add some color to it as well. You can also do a search. Upper right corner, there's a magnifying glass, so I could type in you know groceries because maybe maybe you maybe you made too many lists and you can't find it, and now it'll pull up the the matching. Um, notes that have that word in it so uh, it helps you find your notes quick and finally there is a cool widget as well so in case you don't want to have to open the app you can just um let's do this resize so if i go to apps and go to widgets yours might look slightly different but for the most part it's going to be the same and you're going to look for the one that says keep or google keep i can't remember what it says here we go, it says Google Keep, 
you have two. This one just gives you the shortcuts. This one actually gives you an option where you can see some of your notes and you can make quick notes. So I'm gonna hold down on Google Keep and drag it in where I have a free spot. And this comes up because of how I have my phone customized. Yours shouldn't ask you that. And uh, we'll tap there. And after that, we're done. So if next time you wanna make a quick note, come to your widget, so just swipe to that screen and you can tap the camera and it'll automatically set you up to use that feature. Or we can do a voice, open the mic and just start talking and then it will start recording, just like that. There we go. And finally, I've saved the best for last. So, um, a lot of the note-taking apps are great, and some of them are even prettier than this, but they lack an important feature, which is you being able to look at those notes in other places. So, once you make all these notes, you may want to make changes, but you may want to make those changes while you're sitting at your desk at home. Well, check this out. You can actually go to a website, and all your notes will show up on your computer. So all you do is go to your computer and type in keep.google.com and uh, all your notes will come right up. Now you may have to sign into your account, email address and password, that's it. But we have our the note I just took, the picture, we have um, everything I added is already synced. So just to show you how fast it updates, literally within less than a minute I had all the notes that I made on my phone and they showed up right on my computer screen so um, just to give you guys an idea of, of how easy this thing uh, is great note taking app it's free and it's going to allow you to organize and color code all your important information and be able to look at it from multiple devices again I have a tablet I can look at it on there so I can look at it literally over all my devices so hope you guys found this helpful uh, if you did, make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Uh, make sure you subscribe to H2Tech Videos and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash H2Tech Videos. Take care and have a good one.